F the camera. Let's see. Set up right. What are we doing here? Okay, so that means I need to turn it this way. Oh, too many beds and stuff. Come on, that camera. Get right. like I'm going to be using it so this is like my first time trying to go live and set up this phone the camera however you want to call it let me see if I can flip it around okay go back up I don't I'm trying to make it full screen for y'all Cause I'm not sure it's not okay. Hopefully y'all can see it. Cause I don't know what's going on, but um don't worry, I have on undergarments. <laughs> you just can't see it like you should, but I'm just trying to focus the camera on the table where's my brush okay so i have an extra jar of clear and i'm trying to make sure that it is just the clear and it's not the white from the new set that i purchased um as i said i have not decided what i was gonna do with my nails so don't mind me please <laughs> don't mind me please um i don't even have my nails prepped and ready y'all remember i had the splinter up underneath my nail where i had to cut my nail all the way back here so as y'all see it has grown back out and i have no like infection or anything up under it so um thank you god for that okay so let me um do what I was going to do real quick with this cuz I'm trying to get less jars but um make it more. <laughs> okay, if that makes sense. So good morning, good morning, good morning. It is 8:03 a.m. Um hubby is going to work. Baby girl is going to school. I have been up since yesterday, basically pulled the all-nighter. Um Okay, so yes, this is all clear. I'm just making sure that that was clear. Um, so I could pour it into the bigger one. And then, oh, I could just use the rest out of here, I guess. So I'll just keep the big one to the side. just use the rest out of here okay um i'm so backwards and i apologize you guys because i'm trying to i know i need to go to sleep this is my same um file that i use it's an 8080 sand bed um I know y'all watched enough videos to know all of this stuff unless you're a newcomer and you don't you just got on YouTube and you know you're looking at my videos so I'm using a regular nail file um 
my last two nail sets, I did not soak off. So my nails are a little um, tender. I have kept my nails off probably about maybe a week now. Trying to move because we're in the process of moving. I went live on my last video. I know pretty much that, you know, people are at work. Shout outs to everyone. And I was just on here a couple days ago eating my seafood. So I said all my birthday shout outs. Shout out to all my YouTube family. I love you guys so much. Thank you for always supporting me. Tuning in, being a part of my journey and everything that I do. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. Um, my Instagram family, I love y'all. My Facebook family, I love y'all. Thank you for the support. Thank you for jumping from Facebook to jump on my YouTube and take the time to even tap in. So shout outs to y'all. I appreciate that. I ain't, I'm not asking for nothing. Just subscribe, comment, like, share. I ain't asking for no funds or no nothing. I'm not shaping these. I'm just trying to get that shine off the top. Yeah, my finger feels so much better. Because I was like freaking out about that um under my skin and i have my phone aimed the opposite way so if you are in here and you're leaving a comment if i can't see it i apologize that's the way i have the phone set up i don't know why i'm doing both hands when i'm just planning on doing one on camera because i can't see here the whole time like that I don't even know what I'm going to do to my nails. So, bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. Okay. And I always got my little folding table that I'm using. So, I don't really have enough space. We're praying to get this house by the end of this month. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't you do it. That's the only thing I don't like about KDS glue with these bottles. Don't you do it. Oh, that's messed up. Oh, yes, you did do it. Oh, you son of a gun. Okay, this same thing happened when I was doing Mysteria Nails, and that is so disappointing. But I'm going to use that. If it's glue left in there, I'm definitely going to use it. I got one bottle left. And, yeah, it's not going to go to waste, so... Sorry, not sorry. Um, what is this under my nails? Uh, okay. Forgive me. All right. Some of us do be off camera sometimes because we be trying to do stuff as we're doing stuff. <laughs> so don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay, anyway, where is my nippers? Because I always take stuff out that I need. And then when I'm looking for it, I can't never find it. I don't like that. Okay, so either my thumb has gotten big or this nail is in the wrong slot. Because, like, why is this not fitting my thumbnail? Okay, my mom has to do some sculpted nails so um let me try to get her right with that i already know this is about to be a mess i see you coming out come on see this right here just makes me wanna this is why i don't really go live needing to oh 
Okay, so it's not coming out. Okay, so my bottle is empty. <laughs> oh, that's so messed up. KD, you gonna do me like that? Oh, that's messed up. That's so messed up. Okay, so as I said, I got one bottle left. Um, Hold on, let me get this container back out. That's, that's messed up. All right, let me go in my goodie box. Get my last little bottle. I got another kiss bottle, but I don't even know if it's more in there. I'll just be storing stuff and don't even know if it's on in there. This is my last KBS glue bottle. And I like it. It's actually pretty good glue. These are my scissors. They're so cute. I got them off of Timu. But they're not cutting. Come on. I know you ain't weak now. <laughs> okay. So let me go ahead. Um, I actually, I did not prep pushing back my cuticles. As I said, we're in the process of moving. So a lot of my things I don't have, but I can always use anything to push back cuticles. Um, why do I have my brush sitting in this monomer? I do not know, but y'all don't mind me. Don't mind me. I know I'm sleeping. I, n I don't know. I, n I never put my thumbs on first. <laughs> Oh my God, that's crazy. All right, point of finger is my number four, I believe. You know, if you have your set of nails, they all come in cases with numbers on them. So you can kind of size your nails you know by the numbers to remember which one is which when you're doing both hands usually i would just go ahead and pull out the nail that i've already sized with the one hand so let me go ahead and do that and i already know my thumbs is a zero um a lot of these nails are different when it comes to sizing because of the shape that they are so I'm a zero in these nails when it comes to the thumb. I'm a four in the pointer finger. My index finger might be a one or a two. Was that one I picked up from? I don't know, don't judge me, but y'all know the numbers are on the nails up underneath. It's just that my vision ain't the best. So I think that was a number one. My thumbs, I mean my um index, my middle fingers are thumbs. Um Lord have mercy. Um y'all okay, I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> I was just gonna stop talking. This is so ridiculous. Okay. I don't care when my fingers look so bad. I hope everybody is doing well. This are we in another recession? Because they are really like trying it seems like they're trying to make like literally make people homeless like people I understand like if you got property and you're trying to sell it or whatever the case is but just because you're selling it and the people that's buying it like you kick out a tenant and then you don't you know they don't really give them give us time you know to just up and find somewhere that fast as they 
as they made that decision to decide to sell the property. Like, that's not right. So we had a 30-day notice to vacate um, by the end of this month. Like, you just pop up last month and just be like, oh, they want to sell the property. Y'all breaking lease. Like, what? My neighbor, our neighbor, Mr. Will, he has to move by tomorrow. Like, that's crazy. And it's crazy that all of a sudden, this house that we're in, as well as our neighbor house next door, um, both of those properties are being sold at the same time. Like, the for sale sign is up. Like, that's, that's crazy. We already knew we had some, you know, move. We were already planning on that. But when you're not prepared, I'm grabbing a size three for my ring finger, which I know is a size three. Um, but when you're not prepared to, you know, just up and move, like, that's why people have you to sign leases so you know when you should be prepared to you know, move. You just pop up and tell somebody, hey, you got to go because we're deciding to sell the property. Like, that should be supposed to be illegal, but we're, I guess, under different circumstances because our landlord is elderly and I guess she's unable to handle business and take care of what she needs to which is understandable she's 90 i want to say 98 years old you know and it's finally taking a toll on her so her granddaughter had is i guess her power of attorney and she's doing what her dad has been wanting to do before his mom even is in the ground is sell this property so the first thing the granddaughter does is send a realtor over here and, you know, oh, we're going to, uh, she wants to sell the property. I don't have no problem with that, sir. It's just the point of y'all just, I'm sorry, y'all. I got the window open so these fumes can go out. Because I know how hubby is. He be like, baby, this stuff, I can't breathe with this stuff. So I got the window open, I got the fan going, and I got the air up going. So y'all are going to hear a lot of traffic. Because we're kind of like on the main road. Which I am so ready to get off of. Um, This is a size 6. And I'm usually a size 7 in the other nails. But these are the coffin-shaped nails from Timu. And I believe I am a size 5 pinky finger in these nails. I don't know if y'all want to know the sizes and stuff. So, I'm just telling you anyways. I'm putting my other nails from my other hand to the side. If I have time to sit down and do a set on my hand and just take it off... <laughs> every other day to create more videos i would do that for y'all but it ain't gonna work i'm not in the house by myself and you know you have to be able to um have all of those products that you need to do that creation every other day when you take them off and you know i just i was like uh-uh to each his own because I love to, you know, when I'm not doing anything, I'm not playing Monopoly or my other games on my phone. I sit and I watch YouTube videos. If I'm not watching Law & Order or In the Heat of the Night, yeah, I'm old school. Don't judge me. <laughs> but anyway, I be um watching YouTube videos, nail videos. If not Zule, then Portia nailed it. Um, I think it's Nails by Cy, uh, Nails by Vic, I think the name is, um, Natalie, um, it's a lot of different, uh, people that I watch 
on here. Shout outs to you guys. I also subscribe. So as I said on my last video, you know, subscribe for a subscribe. Okay. Um, why does it look like it's pointing down? My poor nails. Okay. So right now I'm about to find something that I can do my cuticles with real quick. So bear with me. So I got something in here. No. I know at the beginning of this live. Okay. I don't recommend you guys to do what I'm about to do. But I'm I'm just about to do it. Because I'm limited to the things that I have to use right now. I can actually use another nail, but these nails from Timu, like they're not like strong. <laughs> if they're not strong. Uh shape. How you, I'm so sorry. I don't want to mess up your name. Yes, that's my favorite too, boo. I love it. My husband be like, why are you always watching that? My grandma used to sit and watch that. Like, okay, so. Everybody knows when in the heat of the night, come on, they hear that little theme song. Child, please, you might as well go on somewhere else and sit down because I'm all tuned in. I done watched all seven seasons. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Who? And then he, got, he told me one night, he was like, babe, that show give me nightmares. Boy, if you don't go to sleep. <laughs> Really? Are you serious? And you sit there and be watching these uh videos of these people shooting their spouses and killing each other and all of these movies we be watching with killing. You talking about a TV show? Okay, man. I'll turn it off till you go to sleep. Yes, ma'am. Nightmares. He just be saying that so he'll have an excuse to change it. That's all. <laughs> Cause I was like, I know you playing right now, right? No, I'm saying like, even with me sitting there watching all the episodes of um, Law and Order SVU, that's my favorite one, and also um, Law and Order. What's the other one with Gordon and Eames? Criminal Intent, I think. But any of them, I like any of them. But my main one is uh, Law and Order SVU. And he'd be like, what? I don't, I don't want to watch that. You ain't got, you don't have to watch it, baby. Go ahead and change it. I can tune in on my phone or something until you fall asleep because he falls asleep before me. And there you go. Boom. Problem solved. As soon as he falls asleep, which it don't take long, I just flip it right onto my show. And for some reason, I don't know if you the same way, but me... When that little theme song come on and the show come on, I be, I don't know, I fall asleep. I don't know if it's the theme song, but I just, I fall asleep. And people ask me, like, how, I'm, how am I able to still uh, watch um, In the Heat of the Night? It's actually on um, Prime, Amazon Prime. As soon as I watch all the episodes, you know how it kind of clears off of your thing. I go back in to find it and start it right back from the beginning. Don't play with me. <laughs> Do not play with me. I've said and watched Criminal Minds, too. I like that. I've watched all the episodes of that on Netflix. And I really wish they stopped playing with me by um. All of Us Are Dead. I love zombie movies.
So me and my sister keep checking to see when they're going to actually come out with a new season. It keeps saying coming soon, but it ain't coming soon enough. And the other one, it's another one that's on, what is that one? I keep forgetting it. I need to get my Netflix back, I know that much. <laughs> but yes, okay, so I use my little um skew stick to put my nails on. I don't know why I didn't plug this freaking drill in. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm sitting on the bed, on the edge of the bed. Ouch. And we actually have air beds right now because all of our stuff is in storage. So, again, don't mind me. Let me get this thing off this bed for being a poke hole in it. Stop it. Ouch. See? Okay, I was going to use my scissors to try to cut. I just wanted to try it out. I didn't take the... Um, Okay, I see what I did. Uh, no, come on. Okay. I'm trying to decide how long I want them because my little niece-in-law is getting married tomorrow. She got bundles and bone her hair done and I don't know what they got going on, but do I want them a little longer or do I want them right here? I don't know. I might want to... Let me... Let me... Hold on. Let me put one mirror on me. Just one mirror. One mirror. Come on. You can do it. It looks so gloomy outside. And it's like every week. Every other week we got a tornado storm. A tornado watch. Okay. I see you, girl. I see you. Okay. All right. So, let me move this out of the way now that I got all my nails out of there. Because, oh, no. I know which one is which. I'll be crowding this table. And it's not big enough for all of that. Okay, so you can use scissors too to use your magnets on. I got these magnets from Timu. Also, it's two different sets of magnets. Um, I got one set from Timu, and the other set from um, Amazon. Come off, come off, come off. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna do that because I put those up inside of my thing let me move my scissors okay so now that i cut those i don't like the way this is leaning down no i'm gonna need for you to come up okay yeah that's a good enough length and they're all same size Okay, so let me do a little blending with my Lavenda file and turn it down some. As I was trying to take off the other set of nails. Um, I need to change my drill bit. If you have um, sensitive nail beds for ripping your nails off like I did, let whoever know doing your nails, you know, or, or if you're, you know, in the process of doing your own nails, just be really careful because you can definitely damage and burn 
your nails straight through with these drills. Even with them um, hand files, when they're new, they're very, that grit on it be, is very strong. So just be careful. I got this on the lowest um, RPM, so it don't really say it on this one, like how many RPMs I'm using right now. Um, you're not really filing the nail too much you just want to blend it this is not a tutorial i'm sorry i just watch videos and you know sometimes you find yourself just kind of explaining stuff see how i just rip that up which is fine because it's going to be covered up anyway as long as the nail is still on that's fine that's why I'm trying to go down with it instead of like to the side because how it just ripped that up. But you can't really tell. Probably can on camera, but I can't tell in person. <laughs> it's going to be covered. I'm just kind of going around my cuticle to clean that up. Again, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. And if you're on your way to work, have a blessed day at work. I am some kind of tired. I know I'm going to I'm a KO as soon as I get done. I'm going to take this pain pill. And I didn't want to take it, take any pain pills until I got up and took my baby girl to school and hubby off the work. Yeah, so I'm at home alone. Monday through Friday. Actually, I'm not home alone. Poppy over there in the tank. <laughs> With his greedy self. We got a two beta fish, granddaughter, and my son. And he is so freaking pretty when he spread out his tail. But it don't let nothing else, um, don't put another uh, fish or beta by him. He don't play. When I have bright nails on and I put it towards his um, little cage, he fan out and be ready to attack. But it's crazy because our beta acts like a puppy. You tap on his cage, he come to you. You go by his cage, he come to you. Greeting, ready to eat. I call him Poppy. Yeah, you need that clean too. Okay, so as I said, y'all, I'm just blending. If you want to know what I'm doing right now. I'm just blending in there a little bit and also shaping up around my cuticles before I put my... um protein bun i use um i forgot to put that in the description i'm using young nails protein bun uh nail primer which is excellent that's why i be going through he double hockey sticks trying to get these nails off if i don't soak them because that bun don't play i think that's the one i nipped the last time yeah just be careful because careful lord have mercy just be careful I'm, I'm i'm thinking my words but they're coming out all together be careful around your cuticles because you can nip them and they do hurt and you feel it when you use the alcohol at the end to kind of clean it off it burns
might notice me stop a couple times during my nail process because my hands go to cramping. They lock up. Copper tunnel. I'm trying to decide what I'm, I'm, I'm freestyling, but I don't know what I want to do. It can't be nothing drastic because if I do hair and I put charms and stuff on, a stone, It ain't gonna sit right. I mean, it ain't gonna... Oh, God. Why, Isha? Why? Why? I don't know. All right. I need to have that on top of that. If you leave your um monomer open in the air sometimes, it'll just kind of, like, melt down by itself. <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm just using the lowest terminology, so don't judge me. Anyways, um, make sure you have it covered up if you pour it into your cup or your dapping dish, whatever. Um, what am I looking for now? Okay, so I have prepped my nails. I have filed the shine off of them. I have put the nails on, the nail tips on. I just want to know why this one is like pointing down, but I think it's the way that my nail is. Okay, but anyways, it's going to bother me, but it's not. Um, <laughs> okay, I bet y'all like, this girl lost her mind. I have. Don't judge me. Just don't judge me. Okay, so I'm putting my, um. let me show y'all the bottle. And it's like $12, but it lasts for a long time on um Amazon. The Young Nails YN um, Protein Bun Non Acid. I can't even see what the last words say in adhesion. I ain't got my glasses on. I gotta go get my eye exam, but you don't have to put a lot of this on there anyways, because you only put it on the bed of the nail, on the bed of your nail. And you'll know if your cuticle is cut because if you put it close to your cuticle it's gonna burn yep i done nip those and don't worry about your cuticles in the back because when you get done you're gonna put your little cuticle oil on there and i ain't gonna look so dusty anymore i got rust and dust on my afro puff yay and I use this cuticle oil, milk and honey. Okay. okay, so this is my base, which I always use that. Um, if I'm not using clear, so I usually put like a thin layer of clear on first. And then I go in and I put my... um my base uh it's like a what color did they say it was a rose pink or something like that okay so let me go ahead and put my little clear base on i go ahead and use the little bit of clear that i had left over after i poured into the big one um okay am i on camera let me make sure i'm on camera don't judge me i'm learning how to stay on camera don't judge me It's too early. Okay, so I just got a little bit. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit because I'm on my pinky finger and I'm just gonna give it a little thin layer because that's what you can also use. Ooh, it's running. Um, to build your apex with. So you don't need a lot of color, which I sometimes pack mine with color. So I'm just doing one little thin layer of clear. It ain't, I'm not trying to build an apex at this very moment. Um, 
is just to go ahead and give it that base and blend it. Blend the nail. Here we go with another loud truck. I pray we get this house, although it's just up the street, like literally. When I say it's up the street, it's literally up the street. So we're going to be kind of on the same road, but off of it. Okay, that bead wasn't like the biggest, but I can just go back in because it's just a thin layer that I'm doing. Um, to each his own, however, whoever, you know, you know to uh, do your nails you do it the way you want to do it because I'm always going to do it the way I want to do it I am self-taught I did not go to school to learn how to do nails I did go to school I went to Sun State Academy in 2007 2007 and the fact that I already knew how to do nails the instructor kind of like threw me out there to start doing nails for the um, customers that came in and the students who have already been in that class for a period of time, like they're already, you know, past their book stage and they're on to um, doing clients. So that teacher in the class knew that I knew how to do nails only thing she was able to teach me um, was how to sculpt, build a nail. Now that I didn't know how to do um, before I got to school. And I definitely know how to do it now. So that was one thing I can say that um, Sun State Academy uh, taught me is how to sculpt, which I haven't done that in so many years. It's been over 10 years since I did a sculpture nail. So that's something that mom has to do. So I'll be helping her do that. I don't know why this nail looks so ashy, but okay. Um, when it's runny like this, either it's the um, monomer or the powder, and or it's the weather. And usually when it's cold, it's runny. When it's hot, like it freezes fast. So, um, yeah. It's not cold, cold outside, but it ain't hot either, so... And as I said, I got this window open. The air is on in the fan to try to help get some of these fumes out of here by the time hubby get off, which is at 5.30. So it should be good till then. Because <laughs> he always say, that's the that this monomer is strong but then you come and stand and talk to me or sit by me while i'm doing my nails crazy so that's my baby different job so we're not doing as much as mechanic work as before he's doing his technician um mechanic i mean mechanic maintenance technician work now for apartment complex and he's happy with it so i'm happy for him he's like i'll just do the mechanic work on the side babe but I want to get back on the clock so I can make sure my family is taken care of. I want you home. <laughs> okay, well, where else I'm going to go, baby? Where else I'm going to go? If you got to have the car at work, 
because they have to go from one apartment complex to another, which is kind of across town. And I ain't got no transportation to go nowhere. And I'm not going to be sitting there trying to Uber nowhere. Where am I supposed to go? Where? I have to wait until you get home until I'm able to move around and do anything. Until he decides whether he want to get his truck back on the road or not. So, that's about it. Even the street bus pick up on our road. Or the side road that we're moving off of, it doesn't run down there. And that road doesn't get much traffic. But it is across the street from the cemetery. So. But not close to the cemetery. Don't worry. That's okay. I live in a house with spirits that we have seen. And I have proof of them. Well, of just that. I think it's just the, the one person. And that's the husband that owned this house that passed in it. So, all right, I'm going to move this clear. Now I'm going to put my base on. But what am I, Isha, what, what, what are you going to do? I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Um, was that polish? And I kind of bring it down some. Okay, come on, Isha. Come on, Isha. Come on, come on. Why did you go live? Okay. 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 Stop judging me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Like, I'm so frozen right now. I don't know what to do. My mind is all out of ideas. Okay, Rosalind. Come through, baby. That's right. I know that's right. Make my life easier. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Did I just touch that? Yes, I did. Am I on camera, y'all? If I'm off camera, just just hit me. <laughs> Not too hard. I'm already brittle. Okay. I don't be worried about putting no beads when I mean that's how they teach you if you trying to learn you do the one two three beat method some people do the one um beat method I do however many I need to <clears throat> that I that, that works for me so as I said before do what works for you if you do nails a different way from what you see me doing that's fine Cause it works for you as long as it still come out the way you want it to come out that's fine baby and make sure you clean up your sides especially when it go to running oh that's so annoying okay Tap that in that cuticle area. Push that back in the cuticle. Not all the way in it, but just right before the cuticle area. You want to pat that down just a little bit. And rip it out. Rip it out. Rip it out. Am I still on camera? If I'm not, I'm sorry. Lo siento. I'm sorry. Cause I need to see what I'm doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I want to sing my theme song, but I can't because copyright. Okay, don't try to feel this nail issue. Still got to put other stuff on there. Okay, I just double dipped because I know I have enough monomer on my brush. I don't know where these rules come in that on what you can and can't do, but when it comes to you doing your own nails, even your client's nails, or whoever nails you're practicing on, like I said, if it works for you, do it. Do what works for you, baby. If that nail still come out slayed after you done put them lumps and bumps and filed the mess out of it, and it come out slayed, don't worry about what nobody else talking about or how they trying to tell you to do something. Do what works for you, baby. Because when I first started out in middle school, well, nobody sitting beside me saying, hey, make sure when you lay your beads down that, you know, you go ahead and, and you know, uh, blend it down or rub it in or brush it down and, you know, don't let it sit on your brush, clean your brush. I went through brushes, okay? Brushes. Because I didn't know. But you learn. That's that's the process. You're learning. So I just kept practicing, kept practicing. I had all type of rocks on my knee. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. Babe, I had all type of rocks on my nails before I filed them down. Who? Shoot, talking about some bees. Yeah, it was some bees, all right. <laughs> ah, my fingers look like the Incredible Hulk, baby. Don't judge me. Before I finish with them, about the best out of them. I had a couple humps and stuff still in my nails where they wasn't supposed to be at, but that was all right. I was in middle school. So, I, I needed somebody to practice on. Mysteria was right there. My sister Shay was right there. Y'all want y'all nails done? Come on. Get my practice hands. Then when I got a little bit better, I started tackling mama nails. And started branching from there, doing other people's nails. trying to think if I want to do paint or just do acrylic color and I have not pulled out no acrylic color powder I only have this hot green right here think we're gonna make it to the wedding tomorrow but congratulations to my little niece um Janaya she's getting married tomorrow and I know they are ready for it to be over with because planning weddings and stuff like that when you ain't got the money really or you ain't got the help it's a headache or when you do have it and everybody want to put their input in on what you should do and everything like that. You know, if people go to bumping heads, every, people go to getting upset, you know, they change their mind about coming. And at the end of the day, it's about you and that man that you about to marry. It ain't about everybody else. Yes, isn't it feels good to have your family and people that love you there to share that moment. But if they're going to be making your day about them, then, hey, at that moment, screw them. Because it's not their wedding. It's not about them. It's about the people that are getting married. 
so they can become one. I had, when I did get married, that's one thing I said I was not about to be dealing with. Somebody trying to tell me, you know, how to do this, how to do that. Basically, you know, you ain't putting in on nothing, but you're trying to tell me how to spend money to do what your vision is. If I got a vision of something that I want to do, that's just like me doing nails. Same thing I said about you doing nails. It doesn't matter about what other people think and how they think you should do things. Yes, I appreciate, you know, your advice and everything, but at the end of the day, I'm the one that got to wear it. I'm the one that have to live this life. I'm the one that's going to have to look at me or look at my husband or look at my nails, you know, every day. Not the person who don't like what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So, I haven't um, seen Janaya since she picked up her uh, dogs from over here. But I would tell her, don't, I mean, if family is one of the reasons why you're stressing you know before your uh wedding and everything well sometimes you just got to distance yourself hey i love y'all i hope to see y'all at the wedding but right now i need to you know be focused and do what i need to do for my stuff because I'm the one that's getting married. I'm the one, you know, paying for this stuff. If you want to pitch in, great. I appreciate it. But to make things worse than what they have to be, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Every time we go into the courthouse, we can do a party or something afterward. I mean, I would have liked to have had a you know, wedding, beautiful wedding, but not to be going through all of that. My anxiety won't even allow me to, like, I be done left. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, y'all will be looking for us, because I tell Bay, hey, as long as we're there in the preacher there, that's what matters. Yes, I love my family, and I want y'all to be a part of it, but the way my mentality is set up, oh, all right, I don't want, I just, I'm, I'm, I would love the support, you know, uh, we can do a video, um, <laughs> wedding, <laughs> I don't know, it's just to be that bad energy, that bad juju, like, Mm -hmm. You feel like people be, you know, they're supporting you, be genuine, you know, love and support. Some people be there to see, you know, just to see. Ooh, let me see how this wedding turned out. Let me see what what uh they wearing or what it looked like. Uh, you know, oh, I'm come, I'm going so I can eat. Really? Like that's that's what we doing. But then you got the genuine ones who truly care, you know. They're trying to be helpful. And they're actually there to support. Me, I call out a fake person when I see them. That's why I'm kind of like housebound. <laughs> Ooh, my husband talk his junk. But my mouth, it has no filter. Especially when a person running their mouth about something they don't know and they wrong. Or I, you saying something or doing something I know you wrong. I'm going to let you know you wrong. Like, hey, what you doing? I love you and everything, but what you doing is wrong. Like, you shouldn't do that. Because I would like for somebody to keep it real with me like that, you know, and let me know, like, hey, Isha, don't do that. That's, that's wrong. 
or if I'm treating somebody wrong, hey, don't do that to that person. You know, that person ain't do nothing to you or whatever the case is. Like, don't do them like that. That's wrong. Yeah. But you got people that's nasty, sneaky, backstabbing, be right in your face and then talking about you like a dog to the next person. Like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. What you around me for? Okay, I had a question, y'all. Have y'all ever, real, like, noticed that you have people on your um social media and they never, like, like anything? They never comment, no nothing. And then as soon as you delete them off your page, you got a friend request from them again? I done had that happen, like, quite a few times on my Facebook. Some of it, a um, couple of them were family. Like, I can like your stuff. I can comment with everybody else. It's like you looking over my comment, responding to everybody else. I even got a couple siblings that um has done that. And, hey, kick rocks. No filter, baby. Because uh, just how you acting... Like, you don't see my comment, but you responded to everybody else around my comment. Oh, cool. No problem. <laughs> no problem. My fallback game, strong. If you didn't know, you better ask somebody. Who? I don't run after nobody. When I tell y'all nobody, <laughs> I run after nobody. Unless it's God. But as far as talking about running after a man or running after family or friends, no, I don't got track shoes for that, baby. The way my feet set up, that ain't going to work. <clears throat> People think you, like, really got to chase them and beg them to be in your life. I will not. I came in this world alone. I'm going to leave this world alone, baby. So, feel the way you want to feel. And then the thing is, I've had, you know, those people to, like, inbox me or reach out to me and be like, oh, I ain't on your page no more. Oh, really? And you got the audacity to tell me... <laughs> That you're not on my page anymore. Uh, no doy. I deleted you and blocked you. That mean you was just sitting there to watch me. You post stuff. I like your stuff. I come in on your stuff. I communicate. That's the reason why we're supposed to, like, we're on each other's social media, right? I'm just saying, correct me if I'm wrong. But if you just sit in there just to watch to see what I post, then what you on my page for? Like, mm-mm. This is not my space and all that other stuff. Like, go on about your business. Please go on about your business. Let me alone. I don't be in other people's business. I ain't trying to know your business. And it's not that I've I've always said this. Of people are like, dang, you sound that sound heartless. No, it's just staying in my own lane, minding my own business. That's what I do best. That's the best thing I do in my life is mind my own damn business. Excuse my language. I stay out of people's business. So when other people come and ask me about somebody else's business, they already know I'm gonna get them that look. Because they know you should know by now that I don't know, and if I did know, I, I still don't know. Cause that's not your business, and it's not my business to tell. And you know not to come and ask me. Oh, you seen such and such? Yeah, I ain't hear from them in a minute. Mhm. Mm they still with such and such. Why is that your business? I don't know. 
And I understand that's a question that people ask. Oh, is um um Mike and Karen still together? I don't know. Go ask Mike and Karen. I don't be in their damn business. Child, because they were just arguing last. I uh, see. You're going too far. You're going too far. I ain't asked you all that. As a matter of fact, I ain't asked you nothing. If I wanted to know their business, I'd go ask them their business. So get you some business. <clears throat> I'm just rambling, y'all. Don't mind me. But I'm still speaking the truth. Because the truth so shut you free. Alright, so I'm trying to... I ain't worrying about building no apex because it's going to happen. But I'm just trying to make sure that my cuticles ain't flushed. But they as natural looking as they can be. Let's make sure that's all the way around. Because my thumb be making me mad. And that apex is beautiful. But at the same time, like... Okay, we okay, we there. I don't know if I'm off camera. I apologize if I am. I'm just trying to get me right. Cause when you lay down your acrylic good, you don't have as much filing to do afterwards, which I end up doing it anyway, so um, okay, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do, do? What am I gonna do? Should I make this a little thicker and just paint the tip of my nails? I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so y'all just, okay. Which I should be using the clear right now, but I'm just gonna put this right here and blend it on down. Cause that clear be running. Oh, no, I think I like that uh, double color. I think I'm going to use the gel polish. And I'm not going to do the rainbow color. But I'm going to do like maybe two or three colors. And probably put the teddy bears back on. Do I want to do that? Because when I tell y'all that set um, that I recreated from Portionelle did had too much attention i couldn't even walk past someone and hold on let me see your nails oh my god that is so cute who do your nails um me what you got an instagram <laughs> you got you did you do other people nails i get that question all the time have I seen them yet? No. But I get that question all the time. You do other people's nails? Yeah, sometimes I do. You know. When they ain't playing, I do. It's not right now. I have my moments where I just be like ready to jump and do them and then I have my moments where I don't want to do them at all. Same thing with hair. Hello. How are you? Yep. Yeah, so we shall see. We shall see. I'm just going to go ahead and paint do the color so I can get this over with. Cause I'm not really used to doing like one set of nails and then calling it quits, but I'm doing it for y'all cause I love y'all. I'm just adding an extra little body um, to the tip of my nails cause I do like them a little thicker. Um, 
because I do try to get out there and help hubby when he be like under the hood. He be like, babe, hold this. Okay, I need you to turn this. I need you to do that. Oh, okay, babe. Um, yeah, you, okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. No problem. I will bite these off, honey. Because when it comes to us hustling and how to pay our bills, hey, mama got to do what she got to do. Help daddy get it right. And that's what I do. And we always get we always get on people like y'all are so freaking cute like y'all out here you know hustling together again you know um handling their business they need more young people like that i was like oh thank you they ain't going right it took forever get um giving my baby a job getting back you know on his grind so what mama did, mama went online, start, uh, because my baby can damn near build a car. Do y'all hear me? He can fix anything on wheels. He can tell you about it. He can break it down to you about it. He been working on cars with his granddaddy since he was 12 years old. And baby, I don't have to take my car to no dealership because my husband handles that. He about to do that tune-up on that car, that oil change and the brake, uh, change the brake pads and stuff and the calibers. Well, how I know about it, I can get out there and do it now myself. Well, my stepdad, Wayne, um, taught us how to uh, do an oil change years ago. But as far as like uh, doing a tune-up, um, taking the spark plugs out and switching out the coils and stuff, like hubby and showed me how to do that on top of helping him change um brake pads and stuff like true your girl got that knowledge it's just that my hands my hands and my back i be like damn babe <laughs> he be like you need to go sit down go sit down i want you out here hurting all right I'm going to sit down for like two seconds. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. They don't be understanding. When you're in pain, but you still got a family to take care of, a household to take care of, like, what are you supposed to do if you can't get that help through the government? You know? Yeah, so trying to do what we gotta do. Trying to do what we gotta do. Now, why y'all let me put all of this on my nails when I could have just went ahead and did some clear that I gotta put on there anyways? <laughs> I thought y'all loved it, me. Babe, are you at this? Yeah, never mind. I was going to say, are you at work watching me? But it's after nine. They start working and doing their orders at nine. But if you are watching, I love you, baby. Have a great day at work. I already know you're going to call me on your lunch break. Knowing I'll be not that sleep. <laughs> Isha, why? Why? Because you're doing too much now. I really am. Um, See, I just decided to go ahead and do this so I can get the smell out of here before hubby get home. I am, I'm, the sleep is about to hit me. Dang. I 
I know I'm all off camera. Maybe I should move it over a little bit more. I'm trying to keep my legs and stuff out the camera. Because my man don't play <laughs> about none of his woman being seen. He ain't for that. Okay, let me get this clear. Clear! To seal my cover. My color. I'm just using some clear. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, so as I said before, if you were using like color acrylic powder um and it's like a good dark color where you don't have to keep going in and adding color to um make it dark you can use the rest of uh, you know as far as your apex you can use clear to um, build your apex instead of using all of your color trying to build an apex that's it that's all because you got to go in and file anyways you know and me sometimes i end up filing a little too much and be filing off my color i gotta stop doing it Stop it, you sure stop it. Yeah, I'm guilty of that. Another one lady on my um uh, one of my videos, she was like, Oh yeah, you gotta stay in the line. Girl. These are my nails. They ain't somebody else's nails that I'm doing. I don't be caring. Cause I can always take them off and do them again. Okay, okay. Now if it was somebody else's nails and I done did that, like yeah, let me know so I can fix it. Cause sometimes I have my drill up a little too high, and I be trying to straighten out an area, then it end up taking off color and stuff so even the hand files can do that especially when you got a new one can't be too long because it's yeah been about an hour maybe i had to get on that scale and see how much more weight i have lost i haven't been eating y'all like we've been me and hubby been stressing about this whole living situation and having to move you know, without like no heads up, months, you know, heads up. So we both been stressing. We both haven't been eating like that. Like I cook, but like, it's like the appetite is not there. And I was getting changed the other day and hubby was like, babe, you losing a lot of weight. But yeah, the stress. Some people binge eat when they upset or they sad or emotional. Me, I just shut down. I don't want no food. I don't want nothing to drink. I don't want to talk. I don't want no light. I don't want no sound. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. <laughs> That's the type of person I am when I'm upset or I'm angry. I'm emotional. Like, I just, just don't say nothing to me. I 
as a matter of fact, move from around me. Especially if you're the person that tick me off, it's hard for me to calm down. Like, for real, for real. Like the other night, I was, I had just dropped off two Uber passengers and was about to go pick up another. These kids, this boy and two girls leaving out the club, of course, they intoxicated. They're standing at the corner of the road in um, on the sidewalk. And then they just decided to want to start walking across when I put on my blinker to turn the way that they were going. Um, I tapped my horn. I ain't lay on it. I ain't sit there and blow and tell them to get out of the road. I just tapped my horn to, you know, have, so they can acknowledge the fact that, hey, you know, I'm right there. I'm finna turn where y'all are standing. Either you're gonna walk across or, you know, get out the road so I can go. So instead of them doing that, the boy is like, you can hold the F on, y'all. Boy, don't play with me. <laughs> you trying to show out in front of your little, in front of these little uh, uh, girls. Don't play with me. I was going to say snow bunnies. He's a snow bunny too. But, all right. In my head and in my mind, because first of all, you trying to show out in front of somebody on me, trying to cuss me out because y'all are in the wrong. If you're going to cross the street, cross the street. Stop standing there in the road blocking a car that is trying to go. Because had I hit you, then you'd be, oh, you hit me with my, with your car. You hit me with your, oh, well. Oh, well. Get out the road. But all I did was tap the horn. I ain't say nothing. I just tapped the horn so y'all can know that I'm finna get ready to push on that gas and you want to start acting stupid and then the girl who um was walking behind him was like the light is still red i don't care i'm not going through that light i'm turning right y'all need to get out the road why would you be standing in the road anyway they do the stupidest stuff up here. For this to be a college town up here, it's a lot of stupid people. And I meant exactly what I said. I tell my sister them that all the time. They're like, how you like Tallahassee? I don't. Ain't no different from our hometown. But for this to be a college town to have so many smart people up here going to school, they're very stupid. God forgive me for saying that, but the truth is the truth. That's the first thing you should have learned when you was uh, uh, able to step out the house was learn how to cross the damn street. And these idiots, they run out when the car is actually coming. Like, come on. Even if you're a pedestrian, you still have to obey the law of where the um side of the street thing is telling you. It be having me rolling because they got the one that uh say, wait, 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 <laughs> wait. And I just bust out laughing one day listening to that. I think I was on the phone with Mysterious. She's like, what's wrong with you? I said, I'm laughing at this um, pedestrian uh, thing. Wait. 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 But no, they get on, they um go, some of them go to the pedestrian area and just think that they're supposed to walk. But no, you're actually supposed to wait until the thing tell you to walk. These idiots just step right out there. Like the like the people in the car just gonna know, yeah, automatically stop. No, your the lights are supposed to flash on the ones that aren't by the street lights, and you're supposed to. I mean, ain't no way in 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 the world <laughs> that I'm gonna try to cross the street with cars just coming and not at 
not acknowledging that I'm a pedestrian trying to cross the street. Y'all crazy. Especially the way they drive up here. Y'all crazy. Mm-mm. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. This right here is what be smelling afterwards. So I try to make sure. Where is my bag? Dang. Oh, it's over there in the container. Every time. I'm just cleaning off my brush real quick since I'm done with it for now. And I covered up my little bit of monomer that's left in the glass until I do the other hand. Ooh, my back is killing me. Okay, so I'm about to file these down. They shouldn't be too bumpy and lumpy. How you know that your um, acrylic is dry, you just tap it and get something to tap it on. If it sounds like that, that one, see? So this was the last one I just did is my pinky. So it's drying. It's still drying. But the rest of them are ready to be filed. So I'm about to reshape the sides and stuff and all of that good stuff. You can either use your hand file or you can use your drill. I try to go in with the hand file first and get off that excess stuff that be all on your skin because it's running. And then I go in with the e-file. Especially on my thumbs. Okay, so I made up my mind on what I was going to do. I did have another um, idea set that I was going to do, but I guess I'll wait to do that next time. And then I'm going to end up not doing that next time. So <laughs> don't call me on it. It was, it's, it's cute. It's like a dazzling uh, glitter. And then it has the rhinestones in the shape of a heart on the two middle fingers. And then it has the um, the heart um, stone on one of them, like dangling from the glitter. Like I saw the um, design on another channel. Make sure I get that person's name so I can give them their credit on you know, the idea. So I don't be trying to take nobody's stuff and not give them credit about, um, from it. Same thing Portia was talking about. She was like, if I'm doing a set that, you know, I got the idea from somebody else, but I just put my own little twist to it, I still, you know, um, recognize the person who came up with it first. Which is true. It's true. I know my brain be trying to keep my fingers from locking. Y'all see, I got my little hand brace thing on, so. It ain't like my brace brace that I go to sleep with, but it's just something that keeps the tightness around my wrist. And when you go, your hand go to burning and all that stuff, that carpet tunnel ain't no joke, man. I'll be like, oh my God, why? Help me, please. Please help me. Oh, boy. So, anyways, um, I was up while my baby was sleeping, trying to do our applications for this house. Got that done. So, 
So hopefully everything is what she needed to know. Give us a chance to get this money up so we can get out of here. And y'all, how about the other house? that we're looking to move into, got a gas stove too. I was like, man, are you kidding me? I have been somebody, that's the best stove. Like, I like it because it get fast quick and also, you know, don't hold heat on the stove if you leave like a pot on it and you turn it off. Yes, that's I, I do like that, but man, And I also think because my husband unplugged the stove that we got here, so we used a lighter to um, light up the gas stove here when we use in the eye. So I think that plays a part in it too. But I don't think that's how that one is over there. They actually take care of their home, so. I don't know why I'm doing that like that. I hate when it's running because it get all on the side of your nails. And it just, ugh, I hate that. Come on. Move out the way. You can, if you want, go in with like nippers on the side. But you just gotta be careful. I just end up filing it, filing my hand to get it off. Sorry, I don't, you know, I don't like you being upset. You know, you're my everything. I love you so much. I was like, um, okay, get out of my face. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm bad. Get out of my face. I don't want to hit. He can be the sweetest person ever, but I'm Pisces. Oh my God. I ain't got nothing against y'all. I got a niece and a nephew that's also a Pisces, too. But, baby. <laughs> the male Pisces. Child, please. <laughs> okay, you try. Over here shining and stuff. Why are you shining? I ain't gonna put no cuticle oil on you. It really look like it's about to rain. I think it's supposed to. I want to ask Siri while I'm on the phone. Look. Can't even say her name. But when you want, want her to respond, she don't respond. But I tell you. They eyes. More computer technology to take over jobs. Wake up, people. Wake up. More and more people becoming homeless every day. But they spend our tax dollars on. As hubby say, well, I'm getting taxed on top of tax. Yeah. You got that right. All right, so I'm going to get into the e file and turn my RPM up just a little bit. I don't want to nip my finger, but it's going to happen. Hold on. As a matter of fact, let me change my drill bit. 
because I can't be. Where is my other one? Oh, it must be on my other. It's on my other drill, which is where? In here? Nope. see you okay so that's my other drill let's swap that out take that out put you in there because it's it protects the cuticle with the curvedness of that drill bit which i love but i like my strong drills too so i can get down to the nitty-gritty what i need to do i don't need this right now um this is my drill that I always had in my hometown. It, and I finally got it when everybody moved up here. So, okay. Do I even got you the right going the right? No, I'm just going in the wrong direction. I'm going to turn it up, turn it in. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for coming in, watching. Just listening to me ramble. I hope you guys are having a beautiful week. And I hope you have a blessed weekend. Love on your loved ones. Let them know how much you love them. You could be here today and gone tomorrow. I'm speaking from experience. I don't have to know you to tell you that I love you. I love you guys, and I pray for you every day. You know, we don't know what's in store for us or for our futures. We can only pray. And as I told hubby, what makes it hard is that we don't know what God has planned for us. We just got to learn how to, you know, be patient and asking for the strength and to prepare us for what he has in store for us. So, I'm being patient. I've been patient all my life. Certain things I feel like I haven't got justice for, but in the reality I have. Let me turn this up a little bit more. I just you know, I love people, but I don't like people. If that makes sense. I don't like being around people because some people act very ignorant and belligerent. And I'd be ready to just, you know, get my Medea on. But I'd rather just stay to myself. Be in my own little world. As I told hubby, like... Um, you know, because, like, my sister-in-laws and stuff be like, what Isha doing? Or what Isha? And I sit and I talk with certain ones. But when I, um, I talk for that moment or I respond to you, yeah, but after a while, I'll get quiet. Because it's like I shut down. Is that weird? Like, I don't know, it's like my anxiety kicking. And then if it's like too much going on, like I just, before I go into a panic attack, I just like remove myself. I go to, I go somewhere else and just kind of like sit by myself. I just kind of, if I'm at somebody's house, there's a bunch of people there, I kind of like just sit back and observe. I speak or talk if I'm, you know, in a conversation with somebody, but they'll notice like after a while that I just kind of like get quiet. As y'all see this, drill bit is not like cutting my cuticles because I'm just comfortable hitting the back of it. It be them sharp uh, drill beads. Don't get me wrong, this thing get hot too. 
you know, your um the friction goes through that nail and it'll feel like it's burning your bed nail. But I use it to get it off my skin. I put my phone on sleep mode. Beth, you tried to call me before you got busy. As you see, I'm on live, so I apologize. But I love you. Y'all pray for us. Go ahead and get ourselves back stable and out of this little hole so I can give this man his child. He been asking me for his child since day one. And I tell y'all, day one, he been asking me since 2021, I want my baby. Hey, it's all in God's plan, sweetheart. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get into my most beautiful area. I think it's also this stand that I have in my um table it's not long enough so i can't stretch my light out the way that it should and that's why i be off camera all the time so hopefully we get this house three bedroom house um although my Stepson doesn't stay with us. You know, he do come over whenever he get ready. And, you know, I want to make sure he's comfortable too and have him, you know, his own spot. But he don't mind uh, sleeping in the room with his sister when he's over. Um, so we're going to turn that third bedroom into... One side uh, will be my office, set up my desk and stuff, and then hubby want to put a couch, I guess, and that be like a game room as well, which is fine. I just don't want, you know, especially not no children going in and messing with stuff. Because Houston, we will have a problem. Mm -mm. I need a lock for the door so I can lock it. So I'm two back rooms. We're gonna need to change the locks on the door. One of them have the back door. Um, a back door that you can go out of, which is kind of weird, but it's cool too. So he can go outside and smoke his cigarettes. There's gonna be no smoking in that house. They already asked that question. <laughs> Does anybody smoke? Yeah, take them cigarettes out, honey. Yeah, me smelling like a stale ashtray. <laughs> I'm just rambling. I'm just saying what's popping up in my head, y'all. Don't judge me. Put our TV back on the wall. So 
sorry, baby girl, but my 50 inch that's in your room now, and you're gonna have to go back to 40 inch. Cause that's either going in mom and dad's room or in the game room. Which most likely to probably be in the game room. I know he gonna want that big TV in the room. Okay, apart from what I'm rambling about, I am trying to seal the cuticle area, make sure there's no um, space or, you know, anything in between the cuticle and the nail. Um, so it won't cause any lifting because you will get lifting if you don't um, secure that bit, the um, cuticle area. Hold on, I need to pull this out some more. I don't, oh, I was going to say, I don't know why I got John Legend's song stuck in my head, but I just remembered that um, hubby and, and my daughter was playing it on the porch yesterday because that's the song that they supposed to be, I don't know if they sang that at their concert because they did that for middle school. My head's underwater, but I'm... Okay. Sorry, I sung a little bit of his song. I'm sorry. They don't even want you to harm the words. <laughs> Can't harm, skip up, oh, mother thing. <laughs> Crazy. We know whose song it is. I bought it. Yes, get off of there. Still tilting down? No, it's straight now. Okay. Yeah, I know that nail was working my nerves. Like it was tilting down. It's straight now. Ain't nothing that little acrylic won't fix. And it looks silent. Okay, so right now I'm just getting all of the bumps. If it's any, any lumps, if it's any, just making sure that it's smooth down. Everything is smooth. Everything is smooth. Check your body. Check your body. I got a slide going on. Okay. Hmm. Dear 
That's the same thing with Facebook. Oh, now for copyright. If you play any music while you live or post a video, like that's so damn crazy. Yeah, like people gonna be selling their lives with the music playing. I already bought the song, apparently. <laughs> it's crazy. That is just crazy to me. I apologize if you're typing and I'm not seeing it. The last message I've seen is from official uh, cap Cappy Barrow official. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I can use a regular hand file to do all this. I'm just trying to speed it up. Because I still got to tackle my other hand before I try to go to sleep. Walk around putting life insurance on people. <laughs> Is that even possible? I don't even have life insurance for like your parents, your spouse, your kids. switch to that other drill bit because I've been feeling like it ain't getting down to the nitty gritty where I need it to be. Okay, maybe the back part. I need you to get down in them creases. You know, you're trying to protect my cuticles and everything, but I need you to get down in them creases. With this drill bit, like, you can file this close to your cuticle as you need to. My thing is, I be needing it to get down in there. Cause if you could put your finger back there in that um, little crack, it's gonna lift. Which is fine with me, because I ain't going to do nothing but take them off. Do it again. <laughs> My hair just scared me. Ooh.
this is the process on you. I was trying to tell him, huh? he's like, you still working on your nails? Yes, baby, this is a process. At least you ain't got to pay for them to be done, because I do them myself. Only thing you paying for is some of the stuff that I need. <laughs> It's just like my acrylic liquid. I got everything else. That's a man, man, child. You will go to work. Babe, what you need? He don't even ask me that no more. He just give me the whole damn check. Because I'm not one of your little girls. I handle my business priorities first, book later. And even, I don't even play around later. Now, when I was single and doing what I wanted to do and I had money, you know, just to splurge and go shop and go out of town and stuff, like, yeah, that was me by myself. And you got a family to take care of. And, you know, just, you know, doing what you want to do and just taking money and just, you know, make sure your bills is paid and your family is taken care of. That's how I was raised. I don't know what each little girls around here got y'all thinking that all females do that. No, ma'am. Some of us was brought up by strong backbone women who taught us hey, take care of your home you got a, a husband that's taking, helping you take care of home make sure you that backbone for your husband so if it's something that he can't do uh, you know, you can help him do it be there to help him lift them up that's one thing my man can tell y'all. I am very uplifting to him. I would never put him down, especially when he at his lowest. My baby got set up and sent to jail by somebody who couldn't accept the fact that he didn't want her no more, or he was really done dealing with her, and set him up to be put in jail. He was gone for nine months. I'm pretty sure he was, you know, losing his mind knowing that I was out here by myself. Well, not by myself, because I had, you know, my baby girl here with me as well. But I was out hustling by myself, trying to make sure that us three were straight. And God blessed me to, you know, do what I had to do until he got home. Like I was telling people on my um Snapchat, um just talking about some of the things that I sit and listen to my passengers talk about. Like people, you know, they post the good things, you know, about their relationship, which is fine. You post what you want to post. It doesn't matter. But just don't be in shock when they post something, you know, that's not positive. It's something negative. It's people go through stuff. And just because there's social media, um, what's the word? Mysteria just told me last night or this morning. Um, social media, you know, folks don't mean, okay. They always happy on there making happy videos and stuff like that. Like, don't think that they don't go through stuff. If they don't, that's a blessing. But everybody go through things. None of us are perfect. You know what I mean? If we were, we would not be here. Me and my hubby, yeah, we bump heads, not often.
everything ain't always peaches and cream, especially when you worried about stuff and trying to handle stuff. You don't think to come together, you know, as a team in that moment. But when you finally sit down and give your brain time to think like, dang, we fussing at each other and we should be doing this together so we can, you know, handle what it is that we need to handle. Like, in that moment when you upset or you worried, like, you don't think straight. You just rash, you know, a, a rash out. Uh, I can't even think right now. I'm so sleepy. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> you kind of, like, just act out how you feel. in the back of the drill bit to get <laughs> in deeper into the creases. Where's my other fire? Oh yeah, I did fix this much pad. Okay. Keeping the rise. My crackers should get a raise. I think I gotta get a raise in the fridge. Email. 
hopefully this lady say all you need is the payment or if she can just you know kind of work with us to the next check phone that would be great like bothering people I don't be trying to count nobody's pockets oh yeah bro, bro you gotta come up out the 36 I need that Is my, um, mm -hmm. oh, I was wondering what happened. Okay, my bad, y'all. Time. That's why I'm trying to use this drill instead of the hand file. You better just be dying, baby. And I doubt it reach. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My battery on my phone is dying. And this little triple plug thing that I got from Timu, USB um, plug outlet, like if it's something that you plug in that's too powerful, it cuts everything off. So the only thing I can put in it is like one at a time, and that's this light that I'm using. Okay, just another advice, like when you are using the drill um, for the first time, don't let it sit in one spot on nail. If you're wondering why it burns, you know, um, when people use the drill on your nails, that's because if it sits in one spot for too long, that friction will cause the burn to your nail. 
I done had that happen a lot. I done, done it to myself a lot, depending on which drill bit that I have on the, and how, you know, the speed on your drill as well. So if you're a beginner, turn it to the lowest speed so you don't burn your nail from the friction. Once you start getting familiar with it, you can speed it up, you know, step by step. Just a little advice. Just a little advice. All right. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to plug this. Charger in and if it's going to turn. I mean, you can turn the light off. That's fine. Look at that. All right. Which is fine. The light can go off. I have the window open and the light on in the room. I just want to know if it's going to actually. Let me see. Like, seriously, come on. charges the phone. Is it charging? It is charging. Okay. Alright. I have to move it so I can... Ugh. Okay. There's my desk pressure. back in with the regular file do the same thing just filing on top that's the closest I can get this table to me Creases on them cuticles that if you couldn't get it with your drivet. I think it says, thank you for stopping in, Shalissa, and official. I know a few of you, a lot of you have stopped in to look. Um, it didn't show me the name, like, because I'm not looking at the phone. I'm actually looking from another screen on the TV. <laughs>
is even worse. I'm so sick of these scam callers. They call me every day, and I thought it was a, uh, you could do a lawsuit for somebody harassing you every day. But these are people who, of course, barely even speak English. Like, stop calling my phone. Stop trying to offer me health insurance. I have some. I'm good. I keep telling y'all, take me off the do not call list, and y'all steady calling me. Ouch. My poor green finger. I tore it up the last time with that other drill bit because I didn't want to get up and go change it out. Oh my god. Did I put the oh I did. That's okay. Okay. I'm I'm okay. Oh. Okay. So next you're gonna buff. And a little hack that you can do is doing that we're not gonna do all of that calm down and put your little cuticle oil on the nail before you buff it just to help it smooth out a little bit more okay a little bit of cuticle oil and you're gonna buff it and then we're gonna buff it make sure you get all your little crevices I should creep and all that good stuff, corners or whatever you want to call it. Don't judge me. You can have a smooth nail for whatever you do afterwards. And no, the cuticle oil is not going to stay on there because usually, like if you go to a nail salon, they have you to get up and wash your hands. I'm not about to do that. I'm about to spray this alcohol on here. It might burn my cuticle a little bit. But that'll be all right. Okay, 
and make sure you buff up under your nails too. Sorry if I'm off camera. I can't get it like over the table. And then I'm not over the table. So I be off the camera when I do that. And I apologize when I get everything set back up. I'll be where I need to be on camera. Oh, oh fuck it. I got nails back on my hands, y'all. I feel like I ain't have them on in, like, so long. Okay, so I got this spray bottle of alcohol. And I usually have, like, wipes and stuff. Like, alcohol wipes. But I ain't trying to use those. If you got alcohol wipes, you can easily go get some, like, from your store, too. Um, That helps. But let's see how smooth they look already. But they're not done yet but yeah okay so you're gonna spray spray okay and i don't even know what i just did with my brush and i picked it up just to get that extra um dust and stuff out the creases of your nails. I know I just picked it up. So where is it? And I bet when I'm not looking for it, I'm going to find it. Anyways, let me use this paper towel. Go in here and just kind of try to clean this off. I just had to brush up here. I probably don't need to use it anyways. My cuticles cut. But, yeah. Okay. 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 Get off of there. Okay. All right. Now we're going to get into the polish and all of this is done um yeah well for now mm -mm. <laughs> my fish watching out the window y'all watching the birds play okay so I got my colors here that I'm gonna use but I'm not going to use all of them. I'm only going to use um, certain ones. Because like the first time I did it, I used all of them. So I want to do just like three colors. Or maybe four. I don't know. Y'all better not try to come in this window eating my baby. That's all I know. You flop around outside all you want to. Cause he gonna die, bitch. All right, where my liner brushes at? I ordered liner brushes. They're on the fire. So these are my little liner brushes that I ordered um, from Timu. I'll probably use that one. That one. Okay, it's another one too. I think it comes with like five of them. Yeah. That is big. Okay. And these are the other two. I got two lines. Okay, so Isha, what you gonna do? Now? Okay. I just flipped this around. Okay, so these are I got these from Timo. They're liner brushes. Um, 
they go from 25 millimeter, 12 millimeter, um, four millimeters, eight millimeter, and 20 millimeter. Okay, detailer brush. Okay, detailer brush. That's the one I'm known. Maybe. Okay, so I'll just leave them out once so I can decide these colors that I want to do. Let me get my little nail palette. Um, bring my little butterfly ringlet palette. Okay. Okay, so if you're, this is gel polish from um, Born Pretty. And yes, I was born pretty. Thank you. Um, <laughs> ooh, I'm so fancy. I'm so fancy. I was born pretty. I was a pretty curly head baby. And that's what my husband, he said he keep dreaming about this little dark skinned curly head baby that looks like me, but she just dark like him. Okay. He been telling me this for three years now. Like, okay, I get it. Like, it's all in God's will, baby. Hold on. I'm trying to get this top off the ground. Of course, you know, everything like to fall all the time. Oh my god, it's gonna stay down there. I ain't got time. Um, anywho, <laughs> I really don't got time. Really don't got time. I need this garbage bag and it's not close to me. I don't like that. Okay, so these are the colors I have to work with. I don't know if y'all can see them at the top. Because the phone is just like dangling. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, y'all see that I can see like the conversations and stuff now. Okay. Anyways, these are the colors that y'all see at the top. And I know I definitely want to use this one. I want it to put like some blue with the green and the pink with the purple and then the purple with the blue i mean the pink with the blue kind of like switch it up um like i did and i'm trying to decide okay these are my nail swatches over here so these colors have came from these nails and i have wrote them out do I want this green with that blue? Okay, so this is... I'm, I, that was smart of me to do this. So I know what colors is which. So when I'm doing them. Okay, so this is the blue right here. This is M01, 01, Which is over here somewhere. Where are you at? Wait, 01. No, hold on. Yeah, I'm missing one. Wait, two, four, six. Yeah, where is that? It should be right, like, close behind. Not playing. Oh, no, that's not it. Wait a minute. Nah, I ain't do that one. Ah, oh, come on. Like, for real, for real. Really? Like, really, really? Well, how is the orange? Okay. Yeah, that's backwards. Oh, Jesus. I'm so slow. <laughs> I'm so slow. How did this happen? How did this happen? Okay, so this bright green is this one right here, surprisingly. 
is this one. This is the bright, bright green. Okay, so this orange is on the old one, which this is the green that's right here. And then the pink, and then the purple, and then the orange, and then the blue. Okay, I don't know. I have just ended up writing the swap uh, the colors there. Okay, so what I want to do. Do I want to do that? Nope, that's too bright for that one. Okay, do I want to do... Oh no, because y'all know I like bright colors. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Time is ticking, man. Come on. Somebody. Okay, so I had my little... Okay, I was going to keep leave those out. So I was going to do those two. And then I could do those two. And then do the pink and purple or do the purple and no I don't like that dang oh my god like this is this is stressing me out and it shouldn't be this stressful this like it should be okay where this came from okay I'll drop that okay and I drop that one Okay, get back up there. Okay, these are some other gel polish colors that I have as well. Um, should I just do those? Let's do that. No. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm taking forever. I'm sorry. But this is a critical situation. <laughs> or I might just do the, the bright colors, these colors. And just call it a day. Okay, that's going to work. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay. Because I done done the purple and orange. I mean the purple and orange, Lord. Okay, so we're going to do green, pink, pink, orange, orange, yellow, yellow, green. Or should I put that in between? And do it like that. Um, dang, but I wanted my purple and my teal blue though. Okay, I'm gonna have to think of another um idea for those. They never told me life was going to be so hard like this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I need this. Okay, so I'm just going to put y'all back. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to do the bright colors again. All right. In that order. Because this is very stressful. Y'all just don't understand. <laughs> this is a very stressful situation. All right, I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible because I'm moving slow, like. Okay, so I'm going to do this like this because I don't want them next to each other. When I come back around to it. Um... Okay, this, oh, okay, Isha, because she is, like, really tripping right now. You're making this a little bit more harder than it should be. I know, don't judge me. Okay. Oh, boy. I just need enough to line this up straight and even. Okay, birds, y'all distracting them. Okay, my line ain't straight, but that's all right. It's okay, because we're going to be painting with the bigger brush. Stop going out to the side. Bloop, bloop. Okay, 
So I'm off camera again. I got everything like close, but it's not close where it's supposed to be. I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay on camera. Oh my gosh, I'm already in the paint. Okay, turn this down this way. Get this middle straighten up again. I don't know if I just got my nail curved or I'm just curving it. I don't know, I was just going back on over looking at one of my videos and i had these nails um done with the different colors and i was like oh my god like i really fell in love with this particular set because i am a colorful person like i love color so i was like yeah i definitely got to recreate this cup this um set because i love it Okay, so you go in with your regular brush. You should get everything. Come on now. So if y'all see what I'm doing... I'm painting half and half. And I'm going to do the same thing for each nail. And then I'm going to cure it in delight. And just keep repeating the same pattern. Okay, so next is the orange. No, not the orange, the green. In a mess. Isha, what are you doing? You're making a mess. It's okay, it's on a pad. Okay, you don't have to actually do the line in the middle since you've already created it, you know, with the other color. Um, It's weird because I'm an ambidextrous and my right hand always come out better than my left. And I mainly use my right, but I use both. That's weird, right? Now, I, before, I thought about just doing this design, like, with these, just these two colors. 
which eventually I'm going to end up doing that. Shout out to my family down there in Fort Myers. I love y'all. I miss y'all. You can come up and visit whenever. Shout out to my people in Georgia. My mama, my sister, my daddy, Uncle Rose, my Rita, my sister Donna, my niece Nakaya, her little ones, my brother-in-law Carlos, Shamika, all y'all up there. I love y'all. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Oh no, I don't want you to mix color in my bottle. I'm doing too much now. Okay, so what I do next is, did I just mix in my thing? Changing my colors, don't do that. Messing up my line. It'll be all right. What did I just do? What did I just do? I need to go ahead and cure this because I always end up doing it. Touching it. Just mixing y'all, and I always end up doing it putting my legs together up under this table, and I can't stretch out like I need to. Dang, he should why. And I'm messing up the nail up under the thing on light. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I shouldn't have did this while I was sleeping. Because <laughs> it ain't working. I need one more coat. Shouldn't take that long. Alright, All right. because I'm going to change the color on my green. I don't like that. Y'all, I don't know how y'all, what y'all think about the P. Diddy mess. We talked about this a long time ago. Like, my stepdad Wayne told us a long time ago. He was, like, tell, um, telling us about uh, what was going on with Usher and P. Diddy a long time ago. When I tell y'all a long time ago, like, I was, like, in my preteen um, when... He was telling us about this and he was telling us about the industry because if y'all don't know, like Mysteria and I used to do music and modeling um, when we were younger. 
we were definitely um in dance groups and competitions which i need to call my grandma shout out to my grandma miss peaky auntie bridget shell all y'all i love y'all miss y'all um but we started doing like modeling shows with uh vanzel who was also um part of our talent shows and stuff as well from our hometown um yeah but talking about the industry a long time ago you know thank god that we kind of got saved when me and mysterious talking about that last night like we really dodged a bullet like yes we wanted to you know do music we wanted to be able to say you know surprise mom we bought you a house but what did we have to sacrifice just to do that you know what i mean so everything is coming out now like they don't even try to hide it about the illuminati anymore like it's just out there you know what i mean and like it's these kids that want to be like these rappers and stuff and just don't know like what they had to do and what they're still doing to you know stay in the industry and to be able to stay successful in the industry like they just don't know it's a lot behind that and had we signed you know the contract with Sony a long time ago. I was 17. I think Mysterio was like nine or whatever. Had we signed that contract, like who's to say what would have transpired, you know, after that? You know what I mean? Like what would have happened? What would we have, would have, you know, sacrificed or who we had sacrificed or what, you know what I mean? Like it was just a lot. And I thank God that my mom wasn't one of those type of moms who just, you know, like, hey, that's money. You know what I mean? Like, she cared more about how we felt and what we thought, you know, and what we wanted to do. And it was like, okay, well, if you don't want to continue to do this, you don't have to. It's your choice. And love you, mommy. I love my mom. And I, you know, like, what whatever it is it was that we wanted to do like my mom was there to support you know what i mean like she was in that crowd cheering us on you know being a full-time parent single parent you know at times and just you know doing whatever to support us and you know just being behind us and that's why i am the woman that i am today you know like i if they're not my biological children they're not even you know like my children but i still treat them and i help take care of them like my own you know what i mean and i try to support them i go to their you know concerts i go to their uh little whatever little talent shows and stuff that they have because it feels good to be able to have somebody you know in that crowd that loves you and is there to you know support you and stuff like that when you're doing things that you're interested in so you know that's the same thing i tell heavy like i know sometimes that you know you wasn't able to be there you know for when the kids uh did shows and stuff but i made sure that i recorded it you know sent him videos or kept the videos so he'll you know be able to go and watch them and you know tell them like hey i saw you perform you know you was good or you know i want you to you need to sing louder and you know or something like that but you know i just i'm glad you know that we didn't go as far as getting into the industry with all of the mess that's going on and what's finally coming out because this is stuff like i said that so many people have been talking about before you know happening in the industry and you know what is being covered up and so on and so forth like it's crazy it's crazy and they always talk about you know they be quick to say oh yeah the females had to sleep their way to the top uh, apparently the guys did too <laughs> i'm just saying just saying but anywho that's cute with the outline like that too
But yeah, that's just it was bound to come out. I didn't know it was gonna come out like that with Cassie. You know, it sucks that she went through that and that she actually, you know, stuck around and that's why it's good for people to communicate with your kids, talk with your kids, let your kids know that they are loved and that they are important. So they won't end up falling into, you know, people like that that, you know, can mess with their mind and, you know, make them control their mind, you know, to end up in those type of situations. Like, yes, money is important. Money is, you know, you do need your money to uh, take care of your family and, you know, do what you need to do to make sure that your family is taken care of. But, but, Make sure that they know money is not their life. Money is not their family. Money is not going to love them back. You know what I mean? Like, know the difference. Don't be a fool for money. And that's where a lot of people mess up at. Like, that, their, their love for the money is what messed them up. I can care less if I'm broke. As long as my family is taken care of and they have what they need, like, I'm good. I don't need, I don't have to have money in my pocket. As long as I have money in my pocket when bills are due and I can go ahead and keep them bills paid, you know, and my family straight, I don't have to have money in my pocket. Like, I stand, yeah, I definitely, you know, be about my business. I handle my business. I hustle, you know, to try to help uh, uh, take care of our family and stuff. But when it comes down to it, like, no, the most important thing should be God, the trust that we have in God, you know, that he's going to be, you know, the person that takes care of the things that we need taken care of. Yes, he gave us the talent, he gave us the brain, he gave us the mind, you know, uh, to be smart, okay? This is what you need to do, you know, to handle this. But, don't go too far. I'm going to show you how to handle this. And then I want you to sit back and be patient so you can see you know, what I have shown you of what you need to do. I'm guilty of it too. I be trying, I be worrying. I be, I sit there and I be worrying like, dang, okay, so how I'm going to handle this now? How I'm going to do that? You know, but in all reality, God is already taken care of it. And he understands, like, it's we get scared because we don't know. Like, we don't know what's in store. We don't know what he has planned for us already. And that, that burden or the things that we're worried about, he already done took care of. It. And the fact that we don't know, we get scared, we get worried. And that's why, because he wants us to trust and depend on him I'm guilty of it too like I said like I'm not just talking to y'all you know I'm also talking to myself I worry I'm a worry wart it was passed down to me <laughs> but you know I'm and I still do to this day even with me saying what I'm saying like even to this day like I still worry. Dang, I need that light. Because I really can't see at this angle with these colors. But, yeah, even to this day, like I said, me and hubby, you know, kind of been bumping heads because we worrying about our next move. We worrying about, you know, if we're going to have this place, if we're going to be able to get this place before we have to be out of, you know, this house by the end of this month. You know, so instead of us, like, you know, just sitting down and, and doing what we need to do and trying to get our mind right, you know, um, 
praying and you know uh, uh trusting in god like we just kind of bumping heads and fussing with each other and we're saying the same thing but just in different ways and when you frustrated and you worried or you annoyed or you irritated like you don't you don't understand or comprehend things, you know, as well as you should. So, I'm just trying to, you know, sit back, keep my prayers up. Not just for me and my family, but for everybody. There's so many homeless people up here, like it's not even funny. It's, it's actually really sad. I would actually uh, keep my nails like this. Outlined with the hot colors. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and um, prepping my nails. All of them. I went ahead and painted the thumbnail because that's the odd one, um, you know, that has to be linked to the side. So, okay, next is pink again. Like these birds is really showing out outside my window. And all this dust keep falling. Okay. Put this back, put this back, put this back. Why are you way over here? Put you over here, and then I put this back, and then I go. Okay, so I put some pink there. This butterfly is like so small. I don't want to mix up the colors, but I'm just gonna have to do this here. But it's Cause it's taking too long. That's like the other video when I did do this um, design. It did take like hours. Especially when it got to the painting. That's why I'm too much getting to the paint, y'all. Because I'd be ready to be done. <laughs> so, and I don't really, you know, I stop don't using the paint or whatever. So, yeah. When somebody else is doing my nails, I would pick out the paint colors but doing my own yeah no I use that acrylic color and be done bada bing bada boom I don't even know if it's straight but whatever because I can't see I don't know. Should I do the crop this time? See, I'll be so ready to get done because I'll be in pain. I just decide not to do, you know, certain designs. Because originally the crop design went with uh, this creation. Um... And I got all this dust on this table. Am I doing okay? I'm trying to make sure. Okay, so I put orange up here and don't need it. I went a little bit ahead of myself.
As they say, if a nail artist can't do their own nails, then now they can't do nails. Whatever that means. <laughs> I started out doing my own. I'm going to practice on anybody. It's going to be me first. Me first. Yeah. Just like when I started doing tattoos. Shout out to my little brother, John. Hampton. My dog doing tattoos too up there in South Carolina. And he does great work. He's been doing it two years. I started in 2021 doing my own tattoos and has branched out from there. Doing other people's tattoos. And I'm really proud of us. Like I told him when I talked to him, like, I'm so proud of us. Like, we really doing it. Because I always drew, like... When I sit down and I'm, I'm, I used to sit down and just, um, not even doodling on the paper. Like I just, I sit down and if I see something that I like, I just start drawing it. And mainly it be cartoon characters that I'm the, like good at. Like portraits and stuff. No, I ain't there yet. But that's if my hands allow me to get them. I don't know why these scammers keep calling me. It's ridiculous. Like, for real, for real. Every day, all day, I can't even get, figure out if it's a doctor's office calling me for my appointments or if it's a scammer. And I keep telling these people, take me off y'all call list. Like, for real, you messing me up. Oh, yes. I am calling to see if you are... Uh, do, do you have to help it? Uh, no, you're not calling me to do anything. You're calling to get off my phone. Because y'all disrespectful. Like, I asked y'all to take me off your call list. You're not finna get... Nothing from me. I don't know if y'all saw the movie Beekeeper. That movie is the truth, okay? How they be calling people, scamming them out their money. Yeah, I'm glad they did make that movie. And our elders need to see movies like that. So sit down and show them. Hey, mom. Hey, grandma. Hey, I want you to watch this movie with me. Show them. Because they are the ones that end up getting scammed out of the money that they have put up in the bank and they get took. Because you got family that don't, you know, let their people know like, hey, it's people out there. When you answer that phone, do not say yes. Do not agree to nothing. If it's not somebody that you don't know, if it's a, a bill collector, it still don't matter. Don't call my phone. I will come to you. Send something. Send me a letter in the mail that's letting me know I got something due or something like that. Mm -mm, don't call me. Request for me to call you. How about that? Do not call my phone. It's me. It's my nails. I can mess them up. Who said it was messed up? <laughs> okay, what color did I have over here? It was this one. Yeah, this one. Okay, so now I'm just filling in my colors so I can go ahead and put them under this light. Do my second coat. Top it off. And then put this do I want to put them big bears on there? Yeah, because it ain't going to look right. Yeah. 
just want to fix my wire. I think I'll just mess it up more. Is it straight? Yeah, it's straight. Whatever. It'll be alright. Okay. So I'm gonna move y'all out the way. I'm gonna get y'all back up here. Wait. Okay, so I still need to put you up here too. For the other one. Yeah, yeah, I know it's taking a long time. I thank you guys that have joined in and watched me and just listened to me ramble. Jumping from subject to subject. Usually I have the TV on with a show going on, but I have the TV on YouTube. So I thought it would show like the comments. If you guys were typing, I'd be able to read them from the TV instead of trying to read them from the phone. And it's not showing yet, so... It's a little far over. That's okay. That is all right. It will be all right. Why is it frozen again? It's plugged in. Oh my God. supposed to be oh no so i need to go ahead and get this stuff because i'm putting it all in dust Dang. okay which one was i doing okay now it's the orange Shout out to my mom, old crew workers at Great Clips and her new crew workers at Great Clips. If you guys are tuning in, so I know my mom is a big supporter and she always talking about <laughs> us kids. She probably told them, yeah, my daughter's live right now. So shout out to everybody at Great Clips in Moultrie, Georgia, baby. Moultrie Chocha. And shout out to Great Clips down there in Fort Myers. I know y'all miss my mama. My mama, the real MVP. Put you down through there. Haircuts and washes, blow dries. She gets down through there. Shout out to her customers because I know they miss her too. But mommy has to get closer to her baby. What's the hour away? What's the hour away? 
instead of five hours, it's one hour. I'm like 20 minutes, probably less. Can't complain. And my other sister get up here and with my niece and nephew will be great. And then my brother and his wife and kids can come up and visit. Well, we all get to we'll figure out a, a holiday or whatever time everybody get off to spend time together. Shout out to my Uncle Pete, my Uncle Ricky. Franklin family, Addison family, Cherries, James. I'm trying to double coat this right now and it's gel polished. Lord have mercy. Oop. And over here messing up my other hand. Finger. I kept doing that the first time I did this set. I kept on hitting it. <laughs> Alright, let me move them out the way of this um light. Put my fingers in. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Don't want the big bears or the little bears. Cause I got different size bears. I have really big bears. I have medium bears, and then I have small bears, and then I have tiny bears. I see you orange over there showing up. And I just feel like if I do the tiny bears, it's gonna look funny on long fingernails. If it was short nails, then it would probably be okay. I need something to drink for my throat. Yeah, even with the tiny ones, I don't have the colors um, that I need. I see the orange and pink the yellow okay I see a green oh no I keep that in mind <laughs> mm, I also have bowls flowers candy planets in my bottom case and here's my other nail colors I thought I put those on the nail swaps I guess not okay so boom there it is and I'm just gonna go over them one more time and then I'm gonna be out they way Okay, I'm going to put you... Nope, I'm going to need you. So I'm going to go ahead and do my paint. Let's see how to watch out for my other hand. Fingers. Okay. And yes, you can pull this design off yourself. I mean, if you know how to paint your own nails, like... But you don't know how to do like the acrylics and stuff like I mean, hey. You can do it too. Eat the legs in the morning. Okay, clean up the sides. Get to the other pink. I'm 
I'm trying to hurry up before my phone down, y'all. And then it dies completely. And then I got to hear somebody's mouth. Well, no, because he know I'm going to be asleep. Anyway, I got nothing to do with him. I tried to call you on my lunch break. What you doing? Uh, sleeping. Duh. <laughs> I know they ain't going well. He work at one of them um student housing apartments. And... One of them ships. All right, girl. You're going to make me bust you up by my man. And I don't fight over dudes. But, baby, you better, you better relax. Relax your nerves. What she got going on? He was, he was like, oh, I gotta tell my wife about this. Yeah, what she stay at again? Which apartment? Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie. Okay, did I do that one? Yeah, I did that one. Okay, so I need to do the oranges, then the green. Then I need to go in the machine. Come on. I was trying to avoid these Miami hurricane colors side by side. But I can also look at it as my gators. Because they the same colors. Just got some blue in it. That's all. That's it. That's all. Let that dry. Put the uh, bears on. I think that's pink. Yeah, pink. Orange. Yellow. Which is not yellow, it's a hot green. I do have some purple. I didn't put the purple and blue on, so I guess I'll do that next. Okay, let me hurry up.
Pen 18, what? Don't see anything. I'm not big on painting because I uh, see that that's why I prefer to use the um, acrylic powder when it comes to colors. See if I can file that in some. But y'all get the picture. Y'all get the picture. Then I glue on the bears and that be that. And as you see what I did, I went in and I filed the side, saw the extra sides that's on my skin. I can just file that off. The extra polish, I'm sorry. See, I'm still not talking right. And see, it's gonna be sticky until you seal um, the color with the gel polish, top coat and stuff. No way. I'm just trying to clean up the sides real quick.
usually I would use this to um, put like my stones and stuff on there. So this is the foundation that I put on first of the gel polish, as you see. And as I said, I put on the jewels and stuff with this. I can stick it right on top and put it in the lamp to cure it. And they stick just as well as the um, little sticky glue. That must not be him calling. Touch that I always end up touching this thing on stuff. Then it be having a little lumps. Okay, I'm using my small lamp so I can only put my four fingers in at one time. small bears back in the container. I got this from Timo, strong sticky glue. We'll see. I stick the off. I said it's the top sticky. Oh, turn it on in front of the light, Lord. 
Oh, crap. You always want to make sure this stuff is smooth. Because if not, once you put this hot crown, it's going to stay lumped just how it was. And guess who not going to go back and fix it? <laughs> and I'm not. I think I'm going to put the lime green on there since I got three pinks. Turn that ice make off. Mm -hmm. What in the what? I don't know if I'm off camera, but if I am, you already know. I'm trying to see so I can get done. holding my hand up instead of laying it down. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep the thing from falling on it again, too.
back in the light. Long process, y'all. Long process. Later on. So who was that calling me? Back to back. Okay. Oh, I gotta finish that one. Can y'all imagine me sitting here doing a full set like this on somebody? It probably would go a little faster because I'm doing somebody else's nails. But I'm only doing one hand right now. And look how long it took me. One hand. I think it's full set probably take like three hours. Because I couldn't make my mind up with the colors and stuff. And then I couldn't make my mind up on what I was going to do. So, yeah, I was holding up the process, too. Now I'm trying to make my mind up on where I'm going to put these bears. Because I don't have five colors I got. Okay, I'm putting the yellow on that one. So I'm going to have to put a pink on this one. But then I got pink on this one. I use the back of my thing here. Just rub it on the back of the bear. This is a flat surface.
It must be about to sell this property to the city. It got to be. Let me turn my bears this way. I'm gonna make sure I have these last time. I don't know how good this stuff is. I just tried this one. I'm just now trying this one. So. Why is it like it's getting hard on here? Okay. All right, where's my flashlight? Did I pick it up? I'm using the little flashlight. gonna kind of annoy me but okay you already know the outcome this is how it looks and i'm gonna do the rest of them like that Okay, I'm going to put this on sideways. I'm like, I'm so over it at this point. Um, <laughs> my whole phone cut off. I'm surprised they let me resume. But, um, yeah, so this is how it looks. It's the different colors. It has the bears on it. I'm going to have to take this one off and fix it. Or I'm going to just leave it like that until it disturbed me. But stuck on there, so wait, dang, it's gonna mess up my polish and everything. This sucks. Okay, so that wasn't hubby calling, that was an important call that I do need to call back though for my disability. 
I got to hold the phone because this ain't reaching with my plug to be in this stand. Which I would have to do it like this. Okay, that'll work. I don't know if y'all can see. Um, like, I just started getting on it. <laughs> okay. So it's now in the plug in the wall. I don't want to take this off. Uh, as you see, it ain't going nowhere. Well, you can't see. I don't think. Wait. I'm camera to look down. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that off, but I'm trying to figure out the rest of the colors. So the glue is good. Um, from what you call them. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Where I'm gonna put that at? And I got pink on it. Oh Jesus. Okay, I can put the green here, the orange here, and the yellow here. Okay, so that works. All right, so I'm just using the back of this to uh, put it on there, rub it smooth down, because the pinky one is bulky. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and do what I did the last time, rub it on all of them, then put them on. Next, I'll probably just do like the, what I was going to originally do with like the pink and the purple and blue. I had to have more than one or two colors because I don't have that many bears, but I can go to the smaller size ones and just do a different design instead of the every other color. So... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, I definitely gotta go ahead and finish. Okay. Right, so I'll put the yellow right here. Is it straight? On the watermelon one. There's it in the middle. These bears too big to be like not sitting on right. Like you tripping.
I also got this little flashlight from Timu, which I'm pretty sure you can get them from Amazon or like little stores like the, they might sell them at Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store. As long as it has the UV light on it, the blue lights, then that's what you can use to cure your um, gel, gel polish, um, or whatever it is that you need for the stones and stuff to put on your nails. Okay, that's straight, yeah, that's straight. Okay, so y'all, I got my gummy bears back on. I hope y'all enjoyed this three-hour video. My back is killing me. My neck is killing me and my shoulder is killing me. That's crazy. Doing it for y'all. Doing it for y'all. Don't say I don't love y'all. Because I do this for y'all. Okay, at this point, I could have just kind of like put my fingers inside the, um, thank you for the love. I could have just put my fingers inside the lamp. But I just decided to use my flashlight for each one. Okay, so that's it. That's all. I'm picking up all of this dust. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. And then I know everybody like the finishing with the oils and stuff. So let me go in and drip the oil around them. Oh, that's so rude. We ain't even out the house yet. Y'all should have been doing that. Come on, somebody owing them some money. No, y'all owe us money, baby. And we've been paying people to cut this yard. And that was supposed to be something that was took care of by the landlord. Don't do that. Owing money? Yeah. Bring it here. But this is finished touches. I got freaking dust on my fingers and a terrible background so i'm gonna get off of this live i hope y'all enjoyed it i enjoy just sitting talking with y'all even though everybody ain't talking back to me they just be watching but thank you for watching thank you for tuning in don't forget to like comment subscribe if you got any ideas for me um that you want to see me do just drop it below Send it to me in the message. I'll give it a try. I will give it a try. I love you guys. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye. If I can get the phone down without it. Ugh. Okay. All right.